Bobble TV. I'm here with Hardeep Singh Kali. How are you doing? I want a waffle now. I want to eat a waffle. We did used to give out waffles. Well, could you not have been called something like uh, Diet TV or <laughs> Two Shakes in the Day and a Proper Meal in the Evening TV or something? We'll change the name for you. We'll thank change you it for you. Much. You won't. You're a liar, but thank I you. I try. I try. So tell us about your show. Um, it, it's it's loosely loosely called comedy. I mean, it's mildly diverting. There are there are many funnier shows than mine. Um, uh, there are there are many more charming performers than me. There are many more co- accomplished performers than me. Um, I, I basically people feel a bit racist if they don't come and see me, so I get I get the race vote. And I'm I'm, a sli- I'm an older, I suppose slightly distinguished looking man, the sort of man that might have worked in a corner shop you grew up near. So a lot of folk come in just for the sake of memories, you know, for penny penny chew memories. Um, and also I know where quite a lot of the bodies are buried. So folk come in. Really, the, yeah, it's it, it's quite a morose hour because uh, I'm I'm not I'm not very good with people. So I you know and I'm not I can't can't really be arsed learning the show. So yeah. So it's sort of a bit different every time. When I actually show up to do it, yeah. I mean, there've been days. It's you know, it's been like 120 fuck. I'm like, sod it. I can't even be arsed, you know. So I just you know, because I don't have a drink problem. <laughs> no problem at all. I get as much as I want. No. The show is, uh, it's because I did a, I did my favourite show last year, which was Hard Deep Is Your Love, which is about falling in love when you're middle aged. Which astonishingly. I am. I spent a small fortune on Keels for this half of my face. Clarin's here, and I need a little bit of Clinique just there. None <laughs> of it's working. That is all actually embarrassingly true. Um, so I thought my show last year was the best show I was ever going to do, so it was really difficult to try and follow it. But my producer says thinks that this show's better, and it's about my... See, a lot of people think it's great being a comedian, and actually it is in lots of ways, but when you've got a mouth like mine that just it ha- has its own will and you say things it's an affliction yeah. I've got an illness I can't control my mouth so how many times have you been at the fringe now I've been here this is my eighth fringe wow. not many you get a lot of people who've been saying eight in the last couple of days a lot well, of veterans veterans yes. that's fringe a euphemism veterans. for old <laughs> can you hurry up because the post office opens in a minute I need to pick up my pension Williams, I don't need to do this. I don't need the publicity. I'm selling out, and this is how she treats me. With a trans. You're doing it for us. It's a favor for us. I'm doing it because I thought I was getting a waffle. Um, we'll bring you a waffle. No, I think it's actually it's an interesting point you make because if you look back, particularly this year and last year, and a, and lesser so the year before, a lot of the really big names mm. aren't here, like the Dara O'Briens, yeah. um, the Stuart Lees, and the like aren't here. And, and and I know, I mean, Dara's a friend, so I know why he doesn't come. And he, and he's a really noble guy, actually. A, he doesn't need the money. And B, he thinks if he comes, he takes an audience away from up-and-coming yeah. artists. And, he, you know, genuinely, and all joking aside, I would rather, if you were going to come and see one show at the festival, go and see a young up-and-coming woman. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because there are so many brilliant women being so ridiculously funny. Um, that's what I would really like people to do. Yeah. Because the truth of it is without being pompous and without being arrogant, I'm not going to miss two or three people, yeah. four or five people. And actually, I'm not going to change your life. People, I'm seriously, people, can, I'm a comfortable act. People, know, I've got an audience there that know me and they like me and they're going to laugh anyway. I mean, do you know what I mean? Even yeah. if I break wind and drink licorice milk on stage, I've just invented licorice, <laughs> licorice milk. Licorice milk, that's Is that thing. a bad idea? You heard it Let's here first. Think about it for a minute. Licorice milk. I don't know that's even sort of possible, see is what, it? We will try. you've done is you've inspired me to have. invent. I try. I yeah, try. well done, Blondie. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I think um, I think there's a yeah, and I've been impressed. I was, I've been quite critical over the last four or five years about kind of the white middle class boys who mm. you know the kind of rock and roll hair, and they come and they think they're funny and you know they come from a, the acceptable heartland mm. of what everyone thinks is funny and they're not challenging anything. Yeah. There are some women. I mean, I just I'm blown away the comp- the quality of comedy generally. But also the young women coming through are absolutely astonishing. And they just, you know, women at 52% of the population are a minority. And therefore, we're seeing the world through the eyes of an effective minority. Mm-hmm. And that I find really exciting and just, you know, funny. Funny in a way that, you know, makes men think differently. Yeah. And we, we could all do with thinking a little bit differently. So hear me, sisters, yeah? Yeah. Cool. So um, where and when is your show on? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But don't go and see mine. Go and see other shows. 
go and see um, Felicity Ward is really good. good yeah. Ashley Story is really good. Um, just uh, oh, there's another guy. There's a, a fantastic Stephen K. Amos's show. I know he's not yeah. a newcomer, but I was on his chat show. We're old friends. His material's absolutely rocking. Yeah. There's also a show called Heads. It's only played for seven or eight days. It's a comic, a piece of comic writing. Now my daughter may be in it. Oh hey! But it's written by two 17, 18 year old boys from London. Um, who are going to be the biggest stars in the world of comedy. So do you know what? Watch them now when you can afford to and you can get a seat. It's called Heads. It's on um, C Venues. But there's just so many. I just, you know, try something different this fringe. Do you know what I mean? Go and see a woman. Go and see an ethnic minority. Go and see someone that's got more vowels and syllables in their name. Yeah, fucking mix it up, yeah? Or go and see someone with many L's in their name. They probably need to be Welsh. But don't, <laughs> but I mean, if you want to see me, it's 5.20 at Pleasant Aston. But really, go and see something else. Go and see right. something really good, really challenging. There you have it. Thank you so much for coming and speaking to us. You've been watching Wobble TV, sponsored by Boomers. Can you let my kids go, please? 